Hello and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. We are in the forest temple and we are about to do the boss. Who can it be? What can it be? Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. This looks... Uh... Okay. There's no one here. Okay, so have I won? Or what? <gasps> oh no! It's not like Link can escape from here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's him. Ganondorf. Wait, what? What? It's not him. No, this is Phantom Ganon, the evil spirit from beyond. And uh, this fight is gonna take um, part in. Um, it's gonna take place in two parts, or whatever you wanna say. However, you wanna say that. Um, and the first one is you basically have to look at these paintings, and he will come out, and uh, you can hit him, and he will run away, and then he will repeat this process. Now, eventually, he will start faking you out. Um, and that can be kind of annoying, I guess. If he turns around like like he's doing here, um, please get out of the way. Nope, that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, he does two hearts of damage, so of course you want to be a little bit careful. Um, okay. There we go, got him. Good. And just keep checking the paintings, basically. Standing in the middle, I guess, and uh, and do this. It's um, it's a little bit stressful, maybe, but it's not super bad. Oh, yeah. As long as you get him, uh, he won't shoot at you. Oh, and uh, so basically now we have to do this crap, where we have to uh, shoot his energy balls back at him, which can be kind of difficult. Sometimes. Oh, come on. See, they don't always go back to him. So. Oh, and of course, I'd like to keep my distance. I also like to be on the. Uh, on the. Uh, right side, preferably. I don't know, I just like that more. Like this. This, this feels a lot better to me. Oh, man. He just keeps getting hit. Oops. Come on, Phantom Ganon. Do your worst. Oh, come on. How many times do I have to hit you? Do your thing. I think I have him here. Maybe not. There we go. Awesome. Our first boss as an adult has been defeated. This is probably the one of the ones that I'm more worried about too. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But... But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Don't say that, Ganondorf. Don't say that. Banish it to the gap between dimensions. Oh, that sounds horrible. Anyway. We defeated our first dungeon as an adult. Isn't that great? So, now I want my heart... And uh, let's head into the warp and see what's going on. Was it Sheik who said that uh, someone we know is the sage of this palace? I wonder who it could be. Hmm. But yes, every time we defeat a temple, um, we'll get taken back to, to this place. To gain yet another medallion. 
So that's kind of cool. Oh, <gasps> it's Soria. Thank you. Because of you, I can awaken as a sage. I am Saria. I know, the Sage of the Forest Temple. I didn't know that. Yes, you do. No. Alright. What? Well, of course, you, of course we can. We'll stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now, please, take this medallion. All right, all right. Don't worry, Saria. We'll be able to live in the same world eventually. I'm just... I just need to save the world first. And defeat that dude, Ganondorf. Then it will all be fine. Now, I think I said this in an early episode, but one of the reasons why I haven't played Majora's Mask very much. I mean, I own Majora's Mask on, on the Wii Virtual Console, but I, I've, I I said in an earlier episode, I think, that I think I would play, be more prone to play Majora's Mask if I had it on the N64. Um, and I actually ordered that one, along with uh, Super Mario 64. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. It's going to be pretty awesome. Wait, what's going on here? A sprout. Jump scare. Ah! Oh my god. It's a tree. Hi there. I am the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the forest temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Okay. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognize you with your grown-up body, did they? Nope, they didn't. That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. Sounds awesome. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Yeah, I guess so. I am not a Kokiri. What? I'm a Halayan? Well, I'm glad the the secret is known, that it's out now. Oh, and more story, I guess. Some time ago, before the king of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. Huh. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a lion mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. Oh, we heard this type of story a million times before. I see. Alright, after the mother passed away, the baby was raised to here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Thank you for telling me all this. Aw, why can't I stay? So you know what you must do. No, not really. Well, I know that much, but I just don't know how. Break the curses of all of the, of the temples. Well, this kind of well, this one was kind of hard. So, can I really do that on all other ones? I mean, I guess it's only going to be more difficult from here now, but... Anyway. Anyway. We are done with this. We broke the curse on the forest, and everything's back to being all happy. So, isn't that great? Now, of course, we have some stuff we want to do before the next dungeon. Can I get my five rupees here? Aw, I can't. That sucks. Anyway, we uh, want to take care of some of the trading side quests, which uh, I can't get down here. There we go. Nave, what the heck do you want now? Listen. 
No shit! I want to head into the forest, because if you remember, as soon as we entered these areas, Kojiri started, Kojiri started to crow. And he only crows when his ma master is near. And... Here he is. It's that uh, depressing look looking dude. Hey dude! Kojiro, why? Which means... You... You must be a nice guy! Oh, I'm Mr. Nice Guy! Awesome! Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. Um, okay. I guess I'll have to. So yes, we get a mushroom, an odd mushroom. Sure to spoil quickly, yeah. So, sometimes while we're doing this uh, this trading quest, we will have a timer. Um, and, um, yeah, you kind of have to take care of it somewhat quickly, but it has, you know, we have plenty of time, so it's all cool in the end. Man, I'm up to like 12 minutes and I haven't really done anything so far. Only for the boss. But that's what happens in this game. Oh, Epona! See, the thing about Epona is, well, she's fast, but, you know, turning her around, getting on her, all that just takes so much time. So I'm not sure if it really is that much faster than to just, you know, walk or run. But. Since she was here, I guess we can take her. I need to head off to Kakarika Village anyway. About that Sculptula that I uh, I missed, or that I, w I was missing, I know which one it is. And it is in Kakarika Village. I'm not sure if I can get it as an adult though, so... Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... See if I can, because if I can't then we'll have to wait quite a while before we can get that Sculptula, but... It will be fine. I have enough anyway. I have 50 of them. Run, Link, run! So, the hag, uh, or her shop, is... Um, if you remember that sort of fenced-in area, where we, when we were collecting cuckoos, there was like a... the orange house over there. Um, that's the house in which she resides, so... Uh, that's where we have to get to. Now, there is one easy way to get there, which is to enter the potion shop right here. And there's a secret back door. And this will take us to the shop. There it is. And I guess, I'm not sure if we have to talk to her, but yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work when you just give it to her, so... I see. Hey, give it to me now. Yes. Oh, that's so creepy. It's all dark. If you see that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. Huh. And we get an odd, odd potion, which, yeah, it sure looks odd. I'm not really sure. Is it supposed to be something on a piece of paper? Or... I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, we have something really horrible that we need to do now. I'm not looking forward to this, and I'm probably gonna have to cut, because we... Um, well, if you remember the uh, Slingshot minigame, well, we can do the same thing with arrows. Only, this time the patterns are randomized. So, they will still be the same patterns, but they will appear in a random order. So, let's try this a few times. Oh my god. Okay, got an easy one to start with. Good. Awesome. Okay. I think I can do this on the first try. I think I can. 
Yes! Awesome! Fantastic. I'll just take that and go. We got a big quiver. Awesome. Man, I was so lucky there. <laughs> yeah, those uh, red rupees are really hard to hit. But I'm glad that was over in one try. So, um, anyway. Now we can get a heart piece out of the Skulltula house. I don't think I'm going to go grab that. When we have 50. Is you the one? The curse has been broken! Here's the reward for you. Yay! Heart piece! Awesome! This should be our 21st, so... That's kind of cool. Um, now we're heading up Death Mountain, but... I want to see if I can get that... Um, that, um... Skulltula in here first. I, I want to say I can, but there are some that are like both child and adult. There are some that are only adult, there are some that are only our child, as far as I can remember, so... We'll see. Oh, scary graveyard. Ah, oh, I don't want to fight Pose. Leave me alone, please. Are you here? Damn it, you're not. Um, there's supposed to be a Skulltula on the wall here somewhere. Oh, get away from me. And uh, he's not here, unfortunately. So, uh, we're just gonna have to wait until, um, because we are gonna go back to being a child eventually, but it will be a few dungeons away. Or it, yeah, it's a few dungeons away, so uh, I guess I'll just have to wait and keep that in in memory until then. That kind of sucks, but oh well. At least I know which one it is, or I'm pretty dang sure I know which one it is. I'm pretty sure that it is that one. Um, I can't really think of any other one that I missed, so... So... Let's just uh, skip on that and let's head up the uh, the mountain. But I want to do one thing first. Um, I think there's there's a secret hole somewhere around here. There it is. And we have another weird room like the one I showed you last time. This is really strange. It looks really funky. But let's uh, let's fight some redead. Oh my god. There we go, that's one. And for defeating these two, we will get a chest that holds something pretty awesome. Two hundred rupees. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And we're gonna spend some money up on Death Mountain, so um, yeah, it worked out kind of kind of nicely, I think. Oh man, that's right, we're going into the Dongo's Cavern. That's right. Oh man. I was hoping for a shorter video today, but I guess that's not really gonna happen. These last couple of videos really have been like 30 minutes long, almost 40, but, you know, I kind of want to do it so I can, I can get up to, to the next temple and like stop there. I think that would be kind of nice, so. Oh well. Things just take a long time in this game, that's just how it is. Now, if you remember, that uh, platform right over here, which I hope it doesn't move. Oh my god, I was lucky. <laughs> we can go up here, and if you remember the uh, the big staircase room. Oh my god. Shut up. If you remember the staircase room, 
big one. Um, um, let me see, where is that? I th think it's um, actually over here. Well, I could be wrong. Ow. There's a sculpture in that room, is what I'm trying to say. Yes, I'm just gonna ignore all the enemies. Gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Went here, and oh my god. Now, the cool thing here is that you can just jump up like that. Oh my god. How annoying can this be? Um. Shit, which door did I come from? I don't know. I don't even know. Yes, this is the one. Awesome. I guess I could have set Ferrara's Wind or something, but... Oh well. See, the staircase is kind of like... You know, it's, it's not down. <laughs> for lack of a better word. So we can climb up and get the Sculptula like this. Now I think that we can just jump down here maybe and um, we'll be able to get to the next part that has a sculpture, which is the baby Dodongo room as I like to call it. Oh. Oh no. Where am I going? Where am I? What am I doing? I don't even know. Instead of waiting for that platform, though, I think I'm just going to take the ladder. Um, so I think it's in here. It's kind of weird to visit these dungeons that you, uh, you were doing as a kid, because everything is kind of small now. Ow. Please. Now, we can play our... No, wait. Our Scarecrow song. You'll see sometimes Navi turning green, like over there. Um, and that usually means that there's a Scarecrow where we can call on Puri, or whatever he's called, although I, I can't seem to make him appear, which is kind of strange. Are you kidding me? Why isn't he appearing? There we go. And then you can just hookshot onto him, and there we go. Get another Sculptula, and we're out of here. So let's just go. And I guess we can, uh, just for convenience sake, we can take this plant. It will drop us off up here, or we have a chance to get off here anyway. Yeah, there's another Sculptula inside that rock that was there. But we can't get it just yet, I don't think. We will be able to soon, though. And here we are. Now, in Goron City, um, there are like no Gorons around here anymore. There's only one rolling around. Actually, there are two Gorons around here. Um, one is the... Um, if you remember, that there was like a pretty big Goron around here. I think it's right here. Um, he will sell us something. Nope, this isn't it. 
It's uh, one floor up. He will sell us something. Um, pretty good. Um, yeah, it's in here. Then we have to try to bomb that dude. Just like we did with that big Gorn that was rolling around when we were a kid. We have to do the same thing. Hey dude, I just completed a small weapon. How about it? This knife for 200 rupees. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. And we got the giant's knife. Is it a good investment or not? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, okay, he's coming from from over there. Dang it. Okay, this is not gonna work. We're gonna have to employ a different strategy. I'm just gonna wait for him here. Oh, come on. You can't be serious. He's so hard to hit. Come on. Yes, there we go. We won. How could you do this to me? You, your Ganondorf servant. Hear my name and tremble. I am Link. What? No, I am Link. Yes? Um... Wait, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> what? Your name is also Link? Then, you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and hero Link. Yes, I am. Oh, cool. Yes, I do. Really now? To my friend Link of the Gorons. Sure. Oh no, yeah, we have more important matters to take care of, I guess. Huh. The Fire Temple. If you don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Oh no! Oh, and he cries. You better try to calm him down, if you can. Maybe he will calm down, if you talk to him. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, let's, let's ask about the dragon. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia, or something like that. That dragon was very scary, he ate Gorons, oh no! Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, BOOM! KABOOM! Oh, cool. Oh, and he cries again. Yeah, let's talk about the Gorons. Everybody was taken to the Fire Temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. Oh no! As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Oh no! Again! I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. Oh, awesome! And we get the Goron tunic. And the doors open, and we can enter the volcano. If you remember, we've already been in there, but... This time, we can actually do something in there, except for just getting Skulltula, so... Let's equip our tunic. We're not gonna equip the Goron's knife. So now we're all red, which looks kind of cool. It's probably my personal favorite of the tunics. Wait, are you saying there are more than just two of them? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. There we go. Um, that statue, pull that out of the way, and we can enter. Um, 
Now we have to uh, hookshot across this right here. And as we cross the bridge, we meet our friend again. It is something that grows over time. True friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. Cool. The passion, the passion of friendship will soon blossom into righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero fighter. Sure. It sort of goes like our scarecrow song, but not really. <laughs> Yes. This is a pretty good one. I think it's one of the more memorable tunes. But really all of the uh, the temple songs are really good. I like them all. Oh, all these dramatic angles. You have learned the Bolero of Fire. Sweet. Link, I'll see you again. Wait, I want to talk to you. No! And this treatment again. Poor Link. Because the funny thing is, you know, they're probably using Deku Nuts, which stuns enemies, so I guess they stun Link. <laughs> So, he just stands there frozen in time and they just walk away. The The image of that is kind of funny. Anyway, here is the fire temple. It's kind of a long way down, but if we just, you know, grab onto the ladder, then we won't take fall damage. And here we are, already at the second adult dungeon. So I will do this in the next video. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye.